In this video, we will review how to create a fixed asset item and also how to create multiple copies of a fixed asset item. For example, say your club bought 10 new computers. Rather than having to set them up 10 times, you can use the copy feature and indicate how many copies of that item you need. To create a fixed asset item, start by selecting your company. Then select add another fixed asset. Let's take a look at an existing item for example. Each individual asset or purchase should be entered into the system separately. Enter an item code with a max of 10 characters. If you have a large number of assets to track and account for, we recommend coming up with the coding scheme before starting to enter assets into the system. This will help keep them grouped together and organized. Enter a description that best describes the item. Enter the serial or tag number of the item or vendor identification number. Link the item to the appropriate category and specify where this item is located. Use the GL div slash department fields to specify where the depreciation expense will be posted to. Note that this will override the category level. Optionally use the comments boxes to add comments about the asset which are used for internal use only and will print on an F9 report. Enter the value of the asset, i.e. the purchase price. Once the asset has been saved, Adjustments to this field can only be made through the Purchase History button. Enter the purchase date, which will default to today's date. The purchase date entered here is used to fill the date field in the first line of the Purchase History screen. Use the Bought From Memo field as a reminder of where this item was purchased from. If required, enter the residual or salvage value of the asset at the end of its lifespan. This amount is used in the calculation of the depreciation. If the purchase amount, less the salvage slash residual value, and less the accumulated depreciation is more than zero, then the system will continue to depreciate the item. Use the memo insurance value field to enter the value for insurance reporting purposes, which can be reported upon in the list of fixed assets program. If the asset is sold, enter the selling price that you received it for, as well as the date the asset was sold, or leave the date set to NA i.e. not available. You can also indicate who this asset was sold to. If there is a selling price entered in the field, the system will not depreciate the item and the item will be considered a disposal. For new assets, the system will automatically populate the year-end date field. Use these fields to enter the accumulated depreciation of the asset's book and tax values as of the end of the last fiscal year or enter zero if the asset was purchased in the current year. Use the Purchase History button to enter purchase history information for the item. Any amounts entered here will adjust the asset value amount field automatically. Positive or negative amounts can be entered. When an asset is first set up, the starting line of the screen reads original purchase value. This line can be changed, but if either the date or amount fields are changed, it will have an impact on depreciation. The sticky note button can be used to attach sticky notes to this item. Use the reference fields button to enter in any customized information about the item. These fields can be reported upon using the list of fixed assets and list of additions and disposals reports. Use the documents button to find and view stored documents. If you have the Advanced Document Management module, you can add your own documents to be associated with an item. The Copy button allows you to create copies of an item by entering the Copy to Item code, as well as the number of copies you need. Upon clicking Update, a pop-up will inform you of what items were created, which will follow the coding scheme of the item code you copied to each numbered incrementally. Once you are satisfied with the settings, click OK to save. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.